in the beginning of my life, I'm teaching at the Power and Loves, and I'd go up there and I'd share testimonies and I'd go up there for, I would just mess the minutes up. It would say 90 seconds or less. And since I'm one of the teachers, I could kind of, and I didn't want to, I'd just get carried away and I'd share like, I'd share 10 testimonies that happened in a lunchtime. And so I'm up there for like eight minutes and people are like 90 seconds and I'm like, I didn't mean anything, but what I was doing was that testimony was so intense that it was discouraging other people to share their testimonies. I didn't get it because it was wisdom, it was zeal, but not, not enough wisdom with my zeal. And I'm growing in the Lord. And so my heart cry for the last couple of years, especially since we've been here, and as the power and loves I've grown, <clears throat> is I love hearing what God did through someone else. Like, more than I love hearing what God did through me. I can't explain it, except it's this reproduction thing because my heart cry, I want to reproduce what God has done in my heart, in people, and I don't, it's not just for me. It's for the world. It's for the body of Christ. So what I want to do is I want to reproduce the mindset that God's placed in me, in others, and I want to go after that with all my heart because this isn't about Todd White. It's about the body of Christ. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. I heard Bill say, that Christ is in us for our sake, but he rests upon us for others. And that's so powerful because he's not to be in you as some kind of a lake. He's to be in you like rivers. And he's supposed to flow through you like rivers of living water. So the body of Christ needs to get this because we, time is short, man. And like we're, we're, we're hit with this pandemic, crazy, fear, ridiculous flu that is in the world. And the body of Christ has been hiding under a rock not all, but a lot in the name of wisdom. And we're supposed to be standing on a rock with Jesus and we're supposed to have godly wisdom, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield. I'm not saying have big meetings and, and defy the government. Like I'm not leading a rebellion, but I do rebel against fear because fear is demonic wisdom. It's strategy from hell set up to get you to think like the devil. He's afraid every day. So the devil wants to make you afraid right now to make you think like him because all he wants is to take the body of Christ that has confessed Jesus to think like the devil all the while hoping that God rescues us out of here. And the rapture is not a rescue mission. It's a pickup for a bride that has made herself ready. It's the pickup for a wedding date. Like the bride has made herself ready there's the making ready of the bride and it's so exciting and so powerful for us to step into this 